If you ask me what is the automotive equivalent of the mystical unicorn, a beast that is rare, exotic, and you only believe in it if you see it, then I would say without any hesitation, the Lexus LFA. first video review of the Lexus LFA. After all, the car is a generation old, but as in so many ways it is that good, from the outset it was a revelationary proof of concept. For the brand, the epitome of a halo car. It's a supercar without compromise, and nearly 10 years after its initial conception, it's still as relevant today as ever. Let's go back 10 years to the technology and development in materials and usage such as carbon fiber. Lexus embraces technology and manufacturing process with the inception and creation of this car, the Lexus LFA. They made 500 LFA in total. And so when we wanted to integrate one into our show, we actually had to borrow it from the Toyota Museum. Why go to all that trouble? Well, the LFA at the time was groundbreaking revolutionary and certainly one of the fastest, most enjoyable supercars of its time. And yet, just a few years later, things have moved on so much and the LFA is still a leader and a benchmark. At the time, of course, Toyota had their very expensive and extensive Formula One program. And so, transferring some of that technology to the LFA was really a natural step. But of course, it's not just the carbon fiber monocoque. It's the very elaborate and complicated bonding techniques to work with the aluminum and other high-tech materials that go together with making a fully-fledged, high-performance supercar. But thinking about it, looking back on the Formula One program, for many people, both inside and outside the corporation, it was a huge financial burden and perhaps bottomless pit that really, in many ways, didn't yield the results. Although, as I drive around here on the racetrack in the LFA, I might argue that point. They were able to achieve a stunning low coefficient of drag in this of 0.31. And that was through not just the use of those sophisticated materials, but also intense analysis data, probably from the Formula One program and the use of their extraordinary resources such as wind tunnels that they were able to create an aero package both on the top of the car and the underside that maximized the efficiency of the airflow and with the lfa along with many of the supercars that succeeded her is that thanks to the malleability of carbon fiber the vision of the designers was completely able to be matched with the practicality of the engineers making shapes, effectively freeform, maximizing the efficiency of the LFA. Well, with the power plant, they looked at a V8, but they didn't really like the dynamics of the V8. It didn't quite fit in with the brand and what they were trying to achieve. V12, heavy, weight issue, packaging issue. So they settled on the V10 and then match that with the extraordinary acoustic pipes that channel the noise into the cockpit. As you can hear, harmonically, there may not be a better car. The LFA remains jam-packed with the latest technologies and it truly is as relevant now as it was when it was first conceived. And it's bloody fast and that's why any driver worth their salt want to keep driving one. Check back each week for more on your eBay Motors mobile app.